Hello, my friends! Today I'll show you how easy it is to draw a red pair of high heels. For this tutorial, I'm using colored pencils and for the background I'll use acrylic paint. As usual, at the beginning I'm going to sketch the shoe and I'm using a pink color pencil. I'm going to use this color later on to do the highlights. Now I am applying a very soft layer of color with the same pink with black. I'm adding few accents at the bottom, on the top, and a little bit around the hill. And with a purple pink, I am creating a separation in between the highlighted area and the shadow area. With pink, I am coloring the bright area and I'm going to use purples for the darker area. With the red, I am coloring the rest of the shoe and here I am applying more pressure than usual in order to create a rich color. On top of this, I'm going to put a purple pink and more purple. Probably you are wondering why I'm using purple. It's always a good idea to use colors in pairs. What I mean by this, if we have an object that is green, we're not going to use only green. We're going to use colors that look good together. Now, for this pair of shoes, I choose red and purple. I'm going to use purple, where is the shadow, and red, pinks, and black for the rest. For the hill, I'm going to put black, where is the shadow, and then I'm going to add layers of purple, violet, and red. I'm going to put one on top of the other. In the middle, I'm going to leave an empty space and later on, I'm going to fill it with a light color. Talking about light colors, I'm uh, drawing with the uh, pink, the area that is shiny, and I'm going to complete that with white. Now with the uh, red, I'm going to put a accent on the top and then I'm filling the rest of the area with a very light pink and I'm completing it with white. White will create a soft transition. Now for the front part I'm going to use the same colors mostly but I'm going to add grays. For the inside I'm changing a little bit the colors and I'm going to use more orange. Now I am alternating again the colors that I've used before and I'm placing a pink accent and for this area I'm going to use my warm colors and I will put a red accent where is more shadow. For the bottom I'm going to use red and I'm going to blend it and complete it with black. And I'm going to put more red at the top part too. Now for the inside, I'm going to draw the areas where it's more shade with the gray. And I'm going to do the contour for the rest of the shoes. And I will blend everything with an orangey red. With brown, I'm going to place a few darker accents and then I'm going to blend everything. Sometimes when I am painting or when I'm drawing, I like to take a color and paint all over the area. Um, sometimes I like to work only in a specific area. Now, there's no right way and there's no wrong way. It's just the way that you feel that you need to put color. 
and at the end I'm going to blend everything with a, a light color and I'm going to put an L. You know what that stands for. I'm going to contour with uh, a red. For the next shoe, I'm going to follow the same rule and the same steps. First, I'm putting the dark red and then I am putting the pinks and the light colors. And I'm going to apply on top a layer of purple so that both shoes will have the same color. And then I'm going to blend everything to make it look soft. Uh -huh. Now with a uh, violet I'm applying the edges and with white I'm blending everything. So it's going to be alternative purple, violet, red, orange, brown, greys. With light strokes I'm going to apply my final details with the orange with red and then um, I'm going to do the background. For this I'm going to apply just black, black alone. Here I'm using a small detail brush and of course it's more effort when I'm using a small brush but I choose this brush because it gives me more control over the edges. Uh, so gently I'm moving around the shoe um, if you want to do it faster, you can use a um, bigger brush and it will give you an advantage of, uh, of saving some time. Using the knife, I am applying black on the background and then I'm alternating it with a white. Now, the rule is, the more messy it is, the better it will look. Actually, there's no rule. Just be creative and be spontaneous and it will look great. With the small brush, I'm trying to go around the shoes uh, to cover the areas that I didn't cover before. And then now, with only white, I'm going to place few highlights uh, where I think it needs and talking about details um, I'm going to put a series of dots with white there's a lot of dots that I'm going to place here uh, but that creates a beautiful shade and will add texture to, to my shoes um, now, some areas are with dots, some are with uh, a line. I'm just going all over and I'm enhancing the bright areas. I'm putting more on the soles, more on the edges, um, everywhere where I think it needs a little, little um, accent. I am uh, going again over the areas that I drew before and I'm trying to see where it needs more color and with red I'm going to apply more color where it needs and I'm going to put with the red I'm going to draw a reflection um, because I'm painting on top of black um, it takes more effort and it takes multiple layers in order to have my red standing out. But I think my shoes will look better if uh, uh, the table uh, will reflect some of, uh, some of the red. 
So here I'm applying uh, a red and then um, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I apply more red. And my shoes are ready. I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to visit my website at mgartgallery.com.